an offer on the house that we sign papers, but we know nothing is ever real until the cash is checked and the money is in hand. So, you know, just saying a prayer that this is God's will for us. And if it is, closing will be July 28th, which isn't very far. And it's a good thing because I'm going broke shopping all the time when the house is being shown. I don't know what other people do, but we eat and we shop. And so I just wanted to show you some fun things that I've been getting, and you'll laugh. Especially if my friend Kathleen watches this, she'll laugh at me because I get excited over cleaning things. And look at this. Okay. Casabella infused a cleaner way to clean. Okay. I want to show you first what I've been using. Okay, I have this, which is called Rejuvenate, which we got at our local hardware store. And I mean, I liked it well enough, but even from the beginning, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's got little spiky things. And those little spiky things fold down and they break off and they don't really hold that thing on. And then the other awkward thing about this is that I have to take a separate spray and try and spray with one hand and mop with the other or keep setting this down. It's just really awkward. And I've been watching another cleaning video, which is so beautiful, called Inspired by Nikki. And she had recommended this in like Shop Her Life. And those Target isn't a place I go. The last time I've been here is over two years ago. I had a doctor's appointment and I looked up on Google and lo and behold, there was a Target in the city. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this right out. But what it is, is that you've got this that you can put your cleaner in. There's some infusing stuff, which I know if I don't keep up with it, I'll just put my own cleaner in. And then it's got a trigger handle and, you know, would work without you having to have two things in your hand. So believe it or not, I'm super, super excited about this. I love the smell of lemon and citrus for cleaning. And so I'm really glad about that. And my darling husband said, honey, Hey, look, do you want another um, microfiber mop pad? And yes, I do. I do. Especially if we clean the house all at one time. I want one pad for the upstairs, one pad for the downstairs. So I often wonder going, how clean is it once the pad gets dirty? But I'll try not to think about that. So I think this is going to be really fun to use. And then the other things that I got for my household are I have a bright, bright yellow fly swatter, which I may switch to having out on the porch. But this one just goes with my cleaning stuff. And when I last got a duster, they only had bright red, which isn't my thing. And they had this one, which was all gray and fluffy, and it won't show necessarily as you get it more, as you dust more and you clean it, of course it gets stained. Well, the red, you know, it's got the gray stains all over it, the dirt stains. Um, after you wash it, they don't go away. But this will hide the stains better is my thoughts on that. And so that's for that. And then, okay. No, I'll do my other thing. I got one more cleaning thing, so hold on. All right, so what this lovely looking orange stuff is, is orange cleaner. And to make that, I ate oranges. You must eat oranges. So save the peels, put them in a, a glass jar, Pour your vinegar over it and then just let it sit for four to six weeks and you have cleaner. Well, I made a pint jar and this is the only cleaner I have in my, in my house that is all purpose cleaner. So it didn't make very much and I will go through that pretty quickly, especially with house showing. So my husband found this, but I will say one thing it leaked in the car and it leaked in the bag. So this is uh, it's on tight, but there's still a leak from something when it's on its side. So you're going to want to be careful of that. As far as I can tell, there's no um, crack in it, but it did leak. I hate that my label got messed up. But anyways, it's all-purpose cleaner, Smartly, which I assume is maybe a Target brand. And it smells like a citrus grove, and it does. It smells really, really good. 
and so I think I'm gonna like this. I'll let you know in about a month how I like this. All right. Okay, so after all my cleaning fun, I treated myself to something I love. I have had a body wash by this um, company and I adored the smell and I adored the feel of it on my skin. Now, most of my life, okay, the main things that I buy are the cheapest things. You know, I'm usually, you know, CoverGirl or Maybelline makeup. I'm VO5 and Suave Shampoo. But then you'll find mixed in all the time. It's like, well, there's one Merle Norman or there's one, um, you know, just something of a higher end. And so I treated myself. And I've been treating myself so much lately, but this is what I got. This by Van, <clears throat> excuse me. The brand is called Soap and Glory, and I believe this is called the Scrub of Your Life. And I have a real problem with dry, flaky skin on my legs, especially that bothers me. And I have tried everything on it. And so I thought, I need a scrub. I'm going to try this. And then I treated myself to this extra lusciousness, and it's called the Righteous Butter, the Softening Shea Butter and Aloe Virch, <laughs> Aloe Vera, a body moisturizing formula so virtuous you might swear you're wearing velvet. Well, I will let you know if I feel like I'm wearing velvet, you know. <laughs> I'm really not sure about that, but I love their advertising. I love their pretty pink, and I'm just so excited to have this, my new cleaning products, and my fake plant. Yes, it's fake. It's not real. <laughs> but, and the house m might be under contract. We, we just wait and see. I pray that it is. But I really wanted something for my bookcases, and I know that I will use it in the next house we get. And so I got this darling little thing to set on my bookcase shelf. And so that's our life update today. It's a rainy day. I'm going to be resting. We've got to tidy the house this afternoon. I may put the mops. I, okay, no, not me. You know I don't put stuff together. Okay, I may have my husband, Daniel, put the mop together and try that out. And I'm going to have some tea. I'm going to rest. And then we've got a FaceTime showing of the house. Of the people we signed the contract with and so what we're going to do is head over to my daughter's camper and have dinner with her family and stay there and so we'll get the house tidied up I'll be rested and it's a really good day thanks for spending time with me if you're one of my family or friends I also wanted to ask you to please hit the like please hit the share button please hit the subscribe button. What that does, it simply allows more people and different people to see if this is a video that they would like to watch. I love all things homemaking. I believe in home comfort. And I hope that you'll join me. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this time with me. I appreciate you. Bye for now.